So let's talk a little bit about uh, assembling the vertical fin for my Xena CH750 cruiser. I'm building from plans, so of course I have to fabricate all the parts myself. And that in itself wasn't too difficult. If I had it to do all over again, I probably would have bought the spars for the vertical fin and the rudder because they're bent out of 40 thou, which is really, really tough to bend with a homemade brake like I'm using. They turned out okay, but I think I made each of them at least three times before I was happy. Be that as it may, once you have your spars and your doublers, the ribs are easy. They're, you know, just like any other rib. Uh, lots and lots of holes to drill. And a little bit of a warning there when you're laying out your, your holes to drill. Make sure you account for where the doublers start and stop so that you don't end up with some edge distance issues, particularly when you're drilling the skin to spar line because... I ended up having some too close to the end of the uh, fin spar doubler and had to put some in-between rivets. It happens, but, uh, you know, we'd really rather not. The other challenging aspect of the fin was the skin. The skin is 32 thou, which is pretty heavy stuff. You have to bend a radius in the leading edge, and I chose to use the vacuum bending method. Uh, I'd seen this done with wing leading edges, stabilizer skins, things like that. I'd never seen it done on a weirdly shaped skin like this fin, but it turns out it worked okay. I used some uh, metal conduit pipe that I got at the local Home Depot Aerospace for a reasonable price. Put just the right radius in the leading edge and had some help from my wife to get the skin taped up and ready to bend. You will definitely need two people to do that because you have to pull the skin up and tape the trailing edge of it together uh, before you vacuum it and that's just it's impossible for one person to do so have some help uh, once we got it all taped together I used just a regular shop vac to pull the vacuum on it I had a couple of issues with the plastic that I used getting sucked into the vacuum hose and cutting off the air so I ended up putting a, a little piece of pipe inside the vacuum cleaner and running inside the skin so that the plastic wouldn't get sucked up if I were to do it all over again, I would probably use a method that I've seen since then, which is you actually cap off one end of the pipe that's forming your leading edge, drill a quarter inch hole or two in the pipe so it's inside the skin, and then just seal off the, uh, the skin as usual and actually attach the vacuum cleaner hose to the pipe. Yeah, live and learn. It worked the way I did it, but it probably would have been easier the other way. Uh, once that's done, you know, you've got your pre-bent skin. Zenith does have in their assembly manual for the fin some dimensions on some little wood jigs that you can make to help hold the skin in place. I highly recommend that you make those. You will need them because it's really hard to wrestle that skin into place otherwise. You'll also need some little wooden spacers to hold the spar up off of your bench so that you have room to let the skin wrap past the spar because the skin is actually oversized as shown on the plans and you trim it off after you fit it. Um, it worked out pretty well. One thing that I, and another mistake that I made, be sure you check that angle for the top rib. Uh, it's supposed to be at a specific angle to the spar and somehow mine ended up about, I don't know, a degree or so off. And what that ended up doing is now the little part on the rudder that swings over the fin, the gap is not even. It's wider at the front. So I'll have to think of some creative way to fix that later, probably with the uh, fiberglass top piece that goes on the rudder. Since I'm scratch building, I'll be making that. And I'll probably make it oversized just so it fills up the gap. Uh, beyond that, uh, the the builder's manual that Zenith puts out, it's, it shows kind of a, a fiddly way to fit the lower rib, but it's probably the best way. You basically pre-drill the holes in the rib flange, and do not drill the holes in the skin, and then get everything true using a, a plumb bob and a level, and then use a 90 degree angle drill and actually back drill through the skin from the inside. Again, you're gonna need a helper for that, but it worked out pretty well, and I think the fin turned out okay.